Hello, welcome to part 26 of Clinical Physiotherapy MCQ series. Here, we are going to discuss day-to-day -day clinical scenarios with detailed explanation. Let's move to our question number 126. A therapist is mobilizing a patient's right shoulder. The movement taking place at the joint capsule is not completely to the end range. It is a large amplitude movement from near the beginning of the available range to the near end of the available range. What grade of mobilization according to MetLink is being performed? Option A, grade 1. Option B, grade 2. Option C, grade 3. Option D, grade 4. And the answer is Option B, grade 2. Explanation to this question is Grade 1 is small oscillating movement at the beginning of the range. Grade 3 is large movement up to the end of the available range. Grade 4 is small movement at the end of the available range. Now let's move to question number 127. A physical therapist should place the knee in which of the following position to palpate the lateral collateral ligament? Option A. Knee at 60 degree of flexion and hip externally rotated. Option B. Knee at 20 degree of flexion and hip at neutral. Option C. Knee at 90 degree of flexion and hip externally rotated. Option D. Knee at 0 degree and hip at neutral. And the answer is Option C. Knee at 90 degree of flexion and hip externally rotated. Explanation to this question is the lateral collateral ligament of the knee is best palpated with patient in sitting position. The patient places the foot of the involved lower extremity on the knee of uninvolved lower extremity. This maneuver places the involved knee in 90 degree of flexion and hip in external rotation. Now let's move to question number 128. A positive finding in which of the following examination is most consistent with the diagnosis of herniated Nucleus pulposis at L4 L5. Option A straight leg raise of 25 degree. Option B straight leg raise of 75 degree. Option C straight leg raise of 45 degree. Option D prone knee flexion of 90 degree. And the answer is Option C straight leg raise of 45 degree. Explanation to this question is a lower lumbar herniated nucleus pulposis is consistent with positive finding with straight leg raise from 30 to 60 degree. Prone knee flexion test is the upper lumbar nerve roots. A straight leg raise over 90 degree no longer tints the lower lumbar roots. With a straight leg raise of less than 30 degree, there is not enough tension provided on the nerve root to cause the positive response with a herniated nucleus pulposis. Now let's move to question number 129. Which of the following exercises should increase the patient's shoulder lateral rotation range of motion by contraction of the tight muscle? Option A. Isotonic conduction of the medial rotation followed by passive motion into the medial rotation. Option B. Isometric hold resting the medial rotation followed by passive movement into the medial rotation. Option C. Isometric hold resting lateral rotation followed by passive motion into the medial rotation. Option D. Isometric halt resting medial rotation followed by passive motion into the lateral movement. And the answer is Option D. Isometric halt resting medial rotation followed by passive movement into the lateral rotation. Explanation to this question is According to neurophysiology principle, contraction of involved muscle should cause a reflex relaxation of the muscle. The internal rotating muscle limits the lateral rotation range of motion. Now let's move to question number 130. Knee angle foot orthosis or KAFO consists of an angle foot orthosis with metal upright, two thigh bands and a mechanical knee joint. KAFO is indicated the following patient except Option A. A patient with cordyceps paralysis. Option B. A patient with genu valgum. Option C. A patient with patellofemoral disorder. Option D. A patient ordered to limit weight bearing of the thigh, leg and foot with quadrilateral commitment brim. And the answer is Option C. A patient with patellofemoral disorder. Explanation to this question is Patellofemoral disorder are managed by knee orthosis only. KAFO is usually made for metal leather and metal or plastic or plastic and plastic metal. Plastic designs are indicated for maximum foot control and for closer feet. 
So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please mention in the comment box. For further learning, keep in touch with the channel. See you in the next part. Bye bye. See you.